Hey everybody, Real Fan Man here. So, I'm doing a, I'm going to do a video on, on a frog juicer, potentially. Um, I know uh, a gentleman named Earl Widmeyer, um, he's new to uh, posting videos and stuff, and it just uh, pretty much recently came in contact um, with me when I had my contest. Uh, and I know he's been recently posting some videos. He's, like I said, he's new to posting videos and, and whatnot. Um, but anyways, he had asked me if I would do a video on installing a frog juicer. And um, I told him if I had a minute, I would. I tried, I, I mean, I wanted to get it out sooner than this, but uh, nonetheless. So, anyways, first of all, here's here's one of the frog juicers I've had some time now Let's see if I can. and you know I haven't hooked any up yet um, I got my two uh, GP40 dash 2Ls um, on the tracks so I've been kind of doing some testing because these are two of the locomotives I have some issues with the most I believe or I have the most issues with but um anyways <laughs> um, so I was basically running both of these locomotives on this track back and forth at speed step one on the straight and narrow, right? Straight back and forth, no switching. And uh, then I decided to go down, I decided to throw this switch and go down this spur track. Um, going in or going forward, right? As you can see, the locomotive is facing forward. Uh, was yeah, on speed step one, it had no issues. Speed step one going backwards, though, it got caught up somewhere in here. So, and on these new Atlas switches, you can see that they have a little metal tab on the side here of that switch for you to um, connect your wire from the frog juicer. So, I kind of like this idea better than the having the ones on the inside with, where the frog is, you know. See if I could find one real quick and show you. But anyways, um, before I install the frog juicer, I am going to solder these joints together. I'm going to clean the track. I'm going to test the locomotive again and uh, see if that maybe might help the problem. So anyways, stand by and I'll be back. All right, Real Fan Man, signing out. Okay, so I'm back. So I um, soldered these four these four joints, cleaned the track, the bright boy. Um, so I silenced the engine so I don't have to talk too loud. Speed step one. So this is the first time I'm going to see this. Oh, hold on. All right, I just had to fix that switch there so the locomotive would actually come down the right spur track okay so far so good nope stalled right there okay so. all right well I'm going to uh, I don't know if it's it has something to do with the direction uh, let me silence this again come on there you go so I don't know if it has something to do with the direction um, of which the, the locomotive's going over the frog. Like, if it's going straight, I didn't have any problems at all, right? But as soon as I throw the switch to come down the spur, it seems to be where I'm having the problem. So stand by, I'll have it going down uh, straight away. We'll see if it does it while I'm videoing, right? All right, stand by. Okay. So I set it up. Speed step one. Let's see what it does. I mean, chances are I'm still gonna put in a frog juicer there, just to just to um, put one in, finish the install. Because, like I said uh, before, uh, Earl Widmeyer was asking about it, and I told him I would do a, a video about it. And I have frog juicers, so um, I was actually looking at these these two right here, these two switches. But those are, I believe, Atlas snap switches. They have the plastic plastic frog. 
All right, so as you can see, we made it over both switches on the uh, straight straight way. So, all right. Well, let's get ourselves a frog juicer hooked up. Stand by. Yeah, and I just wanted to add real quick, I meant to say that in the last section of the video. Um, I just threw this under there so there wasn't so much of a drop down for the locomotive, even though they, they were doing it fine before. However, I will be, you know, getting the, the proper grade for these spur tracks. So you can see it's just that, uh, that Dollar Tree cork it comes in like 12 foot by like nine inch sheets for $1.25, but for situations like this, it works pretty good. And as you can see, I have some weight under the siding here too. Um, but as far as that goes, just real quick, I'm probably gonna pick up some end scale cork bed for like my sidings and spur tracks. As you, guys, as you can see here, I don't have anything under the spur track. Um, Considering it's on foam and the trains aren't going to be hauling ass, <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave them on the foam. And um, Anyways, you'll see. All right, let me get to work on this. All right, stay tuned. It's my little scrap box of uh, grading equipment or material. So I threw a bunch out. Like I, just, I didn't need all of it, so but I saved enough for... You know what I need, I got some, uh, this is totally unrated to the frog juicer, but I'm going to throw it in anyways. I got some, some shimmies. Um, we got a few extra of these, so I think I got to get another package down the road maybe. But anyways, yeah, there you got the supervisor chilling out. All right, now I'm going to get to work. Stay tuned. Okay, we're a fan man here. So, here is... Uh, the frog, the mono frog juicer. Okay, um, this is the actual physical um, juicer. So these two outside wires right here will be going to your DCC bus wires. And this little guy right here will be going to the, the actual frog on the um, switching track. So I just wanted to show you that. And then these are, this is from, I picked these up from, uh, I ordered these off a of Yankee Dabbler, but they are uh, a Tam Valley um, product. So I have the dual frog juicers as well. So this is the information here if you wanted to look it up. Disclaimer, I'm not doing this for Tam Valley either. This is my own personal um, video to help anybody out who needs, uh, you know, need some help hooking one of these suckers up or is interested in them. I'm still going to go with Keep Alive's, but I'm just, I'm not, right now I'm trying to save as much money as I can for the business aspect. There's another draft, another, and this right here, I'll get it up right for you. Uh, there's a diagram here. You know, if you have multiple frog juicers, reverse loop. For a reverse loop, though, you do need a dual frog juicer. So, um, I'm sure you can look look it up on uh, Tan Valley Depot.com, and I'm sure they have diagrams and manuals and whatnot. So, all right. I'm gonna hook this bad boy up. Okay, so I'm gonna make this easy. Um, I'm actually just gonna wire it on top of the layout so you can actually see how it works rather than going underneath. Because, um, you know, I can always move it back under for myself afterwards. So I left the, I took two uh, power wires off that are short. I left the frog juicer, um, the frog wire right in the middle. And I cut like about, hey, I don't know, for me, a foot, foot long, 22 gauge wire. Um, you can see I have a whole box right there. And I use, for my main DCC, 
uh, bus wire. I've been using red and black. So, all right, gonna wire it up and uh, see if she works. Okay, she's all wired up, we got power. Wired so the frog is, uh, should be all set. That should change color um, depending on which track it's going down. So we're going down on the main line right now. We're gonna see if it does anything. Speed step one. Okay, it's still red, so I would imagine when I go down when I go down the spur track, it should change. So we'll find out in a couple of seconds here. Throw that switch. Put it in reverse. Hopefully that, I gotta get some sort of a ground throw for these switches. Okay, step speed step one, up. Oh, okay, changed green. So that's good. That means I wired it up right. Let's put some sound to it. Okay. Lights are still on. Very good. All right, so I'll take it down. Didn't stall at all either. It's nice. So I'll take it down and the main one more time, and that should be that should be it, really. I mean, they're fairly easy to wire up. Pretty straightforward. Two wires to your bus bus line. Um, red, black, or whatever color you use. And uh, one wire right to on this particular switch. You see the metal tab sticking out the side. On the uh, older custom line switches, uh, like this one right here, um, they're on the inside. And you, could have, you can't really tell because I have ballast on there but um i think they're like right here yeah, yeah if you can see right where the screw right where the screwdriver is on each side there's one so whatever side you want to put your wire in on the older style so um but like this one right here i, I like this one better set up with a um that frog hookup is on the outside so i could actually cover that up with you know, well, obviously ballast that first, and then maybe just put like a small little grass tuft or something, you know. But you can see it's green now. It should turn to red as soon as it hits that frog. And we'll take a look. And there it goes. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's uh, how I hook up a frog juicer. Um, the only difference would be... Uh, the frog juicer would be under the table, which I will move it under the table. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Any questions, comments, suggestions, constructive criticism? Of course, you know, throw that in the comments. Um, appreciate y'all. Appreciate all my new subscribers too. Thank you so much. Um, I haven't really been on as much as I, I thought I would be, to be honest with you. I'm starting this landscaping business. It's a full-time job all in itself. So, But I'm enjoying it, and I'm trying to do some YouTubing and, and working on my layout as much as I can um, when I feel up to it. But All right, so I'll uh, let everybody go. Uh, again, I hope this was informative, and I hope everybody has a great uh, great weekend. Saturday night, February 11th. Happy Valentine's Day coming up, right? Um, but yeah. Okay, take care. Have a great night. Stay safe. Happy modeling. Real Fan Man, signing out.